All right, in this video, we are going to um, show how to evaluate this integral. So this is a polynomial, but it's in the factored format, right? I have uh, this factor x cubed times x minus 4 times x plus 2. So this function is basically built by multiplying these functions together. And there is no product rule for indefinite integrals, right? There's, there's no one technique that's going to work every single time on uh, every product. So basically, our only, in calculus one, right, our only um, recourse is to multiply this out and make it not a product anymore. So let's do that. All right, so first, just some algebra to uh, simplify this. So I am going to multiply this factor x minus 4 times this factor x plus 2. Just foil that out. So x times x will give me x squared. Um, the outer is x times 2, so that'll be 2x. The inner is minus 4x. And last times last will be minus 8. All right, inside the um, parentheses, I have some like terms. So I'm going to go ahead and combine those. So that'll be x squared minus 2x minus 8. All right, so this is now as simplified as I can get it. And then what I want to do is to distribute this x cubed through the parentheses like so. When I do that, I will get x to the fifth minus 2x to the fourth minus 8x cubed. Okay. All right, so now uh, now that I've multiplied this out, it is basically three uh, terms in here, three things that are being added or subtracted to each other. I have x to the fifth minus 2x to the fourth minus 8x cubed. So now I can use the sum and difference rules and the constant multiple rule. So in calculus one, really, that's going to be our only recourse. If we have this product um, of polynomial factors, we're just going to have to multiply it out and integrate it that way. When we get to the last section on integration by substitution, we'll be able to do some products that way. But the important thing is, is to remember that there is no product rule right, for indefinite integrals. It's just a collection of techniques, and it's just going to depend on you know, what, um, what kind of functions you have being multiplied out. Okay, at this point, we are ready to integrate. And so, uh, again, I have three terms here, this one, this one, and this one. So using the um, difference rules, I know that I can uh, integrate each piece and then just subtract the answers there. So looking at this first term here, I have x to the fifth. That is just a power function. So by the power rule, I can integrate that. The power rule says add 1 to the power to get the new power. So 5 plus 1 is 6, and then either divide by 6 or multiply by 1 over 6. So I'm just going to multiply by 1 over 6. Then the difference rule says subtract off the um, antiderivative or indefinite integral of this piece right here, 2x to the fourth. Um, so looking at this 2x to the fourth term, I'm going to use the constant multiple rule. The constant multiple rule says if I have a constant times a function and I want to find the indefinite integral, then just rewrite the constant and multiply it by the antiderivative or indefinite integral of the function part. So um, the function part is x to the fourth. That is a power function. And so I add one to the power to get the new power, which is going to be five, and then divide by five or multiply by one fifth. Then again, going back to the difference rule, it says then subtract off the indefinite integral of this last piece right here. Again, I'm going to use the constant multiple rule that says, hey, just rewrite that 8 and then multiply it by the indefinite integral of the x to the third part. And so using the power rule once again, uh, the 
indefinite integral of x to the fourth is going to, using the power rule, I'd add one to the three to get four, that's the new power, and then divide by four or multiply by one fourth, however you wanna do that. And then finally, uh, don't forget your constant of integration, right, which is the plus c. Uh, the very last thing is just to clean this up uh, slightly. And I can just multiply two times one fifth, that's gonna be two fifths. And multiply eight times one fourth, that's two. And that is uh, the answer on this one.